What it do, college football fans? I'm back with another video. I know it's been a long time, but we're going to get right into this because it's going to be kind of long. So these are my picks for the 2021 bowl season. And it's going to be every game except for the national championship because we don't know who's actually playing. But I'm going to give you my picks um, and the spreads and everything like that. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's jump right in. All right. So first we have the Bahamas Bowl, uh, Middle Tennessee State playing Toledo. Um, for this one, I'm just going to have to say that, uh, Toledo is going to go ahead and win this one. Um, and then the Cure Bowl, Northern Illinois, I think they're actually going to beat Coastal Carolina. I think Northern Illinois is on an upward track and they're going to beat Coastal Carolina. So that's my hot take for that one. New Mexico Bowl, UTEP versus Fresno State. I got Fresno winning this one big time. Um, and then App State versus Western Kentucky. In the Boca Raton Bowl, um, I, I have to take App State. Uh, I don't think West Kentucky is really that good, honestly. But who knows? I mean, they might surprise us in this game, just like they kind of they, they surprised me in the in the conference championship game. So, but we'll never we'll find out this game who uh, which conference is really better, the Sun Belt or the uh, Conference USA. Next is the Independence Bowl. Um, on this one. Got to go with BYU just because of the competition that they played. Um, UAB is the underdog here by seven points. I'll just go ahead and take BYU. In the Lending Tree Bowl, I'm going to have to go with Liberty. No matter how much I don't want to ever go for Liberty, I'm going to have to go for Liberty on this one. Uh, the LA Bowl, I've got Oregon State getting this dub. Um, and then with the RNL Carriers Bowl, <sighs> Marshall's a five-point favorite, right? But, like, I don't think – or Marshall's a five-point underdog, my bad. Yeah, that's 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 a good take. That's a good take. Take uh, uh, Raging Cajuns, uh, cover. Take Raging Cajuns on that one because I don't think Marshall's um, really going to be good next year. I don't think – I think that this is kind of like the, the first step in their downward trajectory for the next couple of years. So, yeah, make sure you take Raging Cajuns on that one. All right, next we've got the Myrtle Beach Bowl. Going to have to go with Tulsa on this one. Nine and a half points. Yeah, I think they'll cover as well. Idaho Potato Bowl. Uh, I'm going to go with Wyoming just because, I mean, honestly, I'm no, I'm taking Kent State. They're the underdog in this one. Taking Kent State. I don't think Wyoming's really that much to call home about. Uh, Frisco Bowl. I'm going to go ahead and take San Diego State, even if they are an underdog. I'm taking San Diego State on this one. And uh, the Armed Forces Bowl with Army versus Missouri. Go ahead and give me Missouri. Might be a shocker, but yeah, give me Missouri on this one. I, I really want Missouri uh, and the points. And give me the over of 58 points. Yeah, that's what I'm going to take. All right, and the next one is the Frisco Football Classic. A new bowl game just so there would be a, a bowl game for everybody. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and take North Texas. Uh, and I'm going to take the points at 54. I'm going to take the over. Uh, Gasparilla Bowl. UCF versus uh, Florida. Going to have to take Florida on this one. They are six and a half point favorite. I'm taking Florida. Uh, taking Florida. Probably going to take the under as well on that one. Uh, and then Hawaii Bowl, Memphis versus Hawaii. Must suck to lose their bowl game in your own, in your home stadium with, like, two fans in the end of tennis. But, yeah, Memphis is going to easily take that one, I think. Um, they are a seven-point favorite. Uh, I, I, could, I would take them at 10, honestly. Uh, the Camellia Bowl with uh, Georgia State and Ball State, that one's going to be a little bit of a weird game to me. I, I just I don't I don't like that those teams are going against each other honestly, but uh four and a half points is Georgia State favored. I'm gonna have to go with uh, Ball State to at least cover, at least cover. I think it'll probably be a field goal game. Take uh them to cover. Next we have the Quick Lane Bowl. Um. Quick lane ball. This is kind of a this is this is a, this is a weird one to me. Uh, I don't think that Wyoming should be a five and a half point favorite over Nevada, but I'm gonna take them anyways. And the points Vegas must know something I don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and take them on that one. 
Military Bowl, East Carolina University versus Boston College. Boston College had a whole bunch of stuff going on this year where it was a really streaky, uh, streaky times up there. I'm going to go with East Carolina with having a, a strong, strong end to their season. Um, you know, barring the Cincinnati game, the mini was Cincinnati, but I, I'm going to go with uh, ECU on that one. Birmingham Bowl, uh, Houston versus Auburn. I'm going to have to go with Auburn. They're a three point favorite. I'm going to go ahead and just take them and the points. I don't think that they're going to, uh, I think that they're just as good as Cincinnati, honestly. So I think Auburn's going to have just about the same score against Houston. Uh, Surf Pro, first responder bowl. I'm going to go with, uh, you got Louisville versus Air Force. I'm going to go with Air Force. Louisville's only one and a half point favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the upset of Air Force. I think that's a reasonable, reasonable bit to make there. All right, next we got Texas A&M versus, uh, I mean, my bad, Texas Tech versus Mississippi State. Uh, Texas Tech, I'm going to go with uh, Mississippi State on that one. I think, I think uh, Mississippi State's going to win that one. They've got actual coaching staff intact and moving forward. So uh, UCLA versus NC State. NC State's a one-point favorite. It is the Holiday Bowl down there in uh, San Diego. I'm going to go with UCLA just because it is really close to them. Um, NC State's going across country. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take uh, UCLA on that upset. I'm not going to take the over on 60, though. I really don't know. I'm not going to take that over, though. Uh, guaranteed rate bowl, Miss Minnesota versus uh, West Virginia. Almost got Mississippi and uh, Minnesota mixed up there. I'm going to go ahead and take Minnesota. They are a three-and-a-half point favorite. Take them and the points at 45. I think this will be a little bit higher scoring of a game. And take the points there. Then to the Fenway Bowl on the 29th. Uh, Virginia versus SMU. That was supposed to be Virginia versus ECU, but we'll we'll, we'll talk about that at a later date. I'm going to go ahead and go with Virginia uh, at a 70, at a, I mean, a seven point uh, favor. I'm going to go ahead and take Virginia. I don't think SMU is going to be good without uh, their head coach uh, and everything else intact right now. I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, Virginia. All right, next we got the Pinstripe Bowl. This is going to be Virginia Tech versus Maryland. I'm going to go with Maryland. They are the favorite by one point. Uh, I think Loxley is is a better coach than, than what's been showed lately. But I'm going to go ahead and go with Maryland. Cheez it Bowl. Cheez it Bowl really has Clemson in it this year. That that's crazy to me. Um, and then they're only. I mean, they're a one and a half point uh, underdog to uh, Iowa State here, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with Iowa State on this one, uh, just because Clemson's down. Um, then to the Alamo Bowl, Oklahoma is still a four and a half point favorite over Oregon, but I think Oregon's gonna win this one. I think Oklahoma is just a little too unstable right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh, Oregon. Uh, Duke's Mayo Bowl, the Battle of the Carolinas in Charlotte. Uh, that's going to be a pretty decent game to watch right now. Uh, North Carolina is a nine-point favorite. Honestly, I'm going to have to go South Carolina. Uh, if I had to take South Carolina or UNC this year, I would have taken South Carolina in most games based on how UNC was performing. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go South Carolina on that one. Uh, probably probably go and take the points, too, 58.5. All right, next we have the Music City Bowl, Purdue versus Tennessee. Going to go ahead and take Tennessee since they are favored. I don't think Purdue's really got that much going for them. Uh, Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, Michigan State versus Pitt. Now, I mean, this line was before Kenneth Walker decided he's not going to play. <sighs> Honestly, I'm going to go with Pitt on, I don't know if they're favored now, but probably the upset. Um... Yeah, I was going to have to go with Pitt. I think Michigan State has a lot going for them, but I'm just going to go with take Pitt. Uh, Las Vegas Bowl, Wisconsin versus Arizona State. I'm going to go with Wisconsin easily. The Gator Bowl, Wake Forest versus Texas A&M. There we go. Now I got my A&M. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take Texas A&M. They are a four-and-a-half-point favorite. I'm going to take them. 
I'm going to take the over as well on 58 points. I hardly ever take the unders if it is going to be under. Because I trust offense way more than I do defense. All right, and now we're getting into the into the the classics. Sun Bowl we got Washington State versus Miami. I'm gonna take Miami. They are the favorite. I'm gonna take them. Uh, and then we got Central Michigan versus Boise State in the Arizona Bowl. Gonna go ahead and take Boise State on that one too. Uh, then to the Outback Bowl. This is gonna be a really, really, really good game. I really, I mean, I feel really good about this game. I'm gonna go ahead and take Penn State. They are favored. I'm going to want to take Penn State. I'm going to go over on 46 and a half points. I do think that they're that they're both going to score more points than that. So I'm going to go ahead and take that uh in the the over uh Penn State. Uh and then you got the Fiesta Bowl with Oregon State. I mean, they have the Fiesta Bowl with Oklahoma State and Notre Dame. Notre Dame's a two-point favorite, but I'm going to go with Gundy and company. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with Oklahoma State on that one. I uh, love the campus. I'll never forget being on Oklahoma State's campus. It's probably one of my top five college campuses that I've seen. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go with them. All right, now we've got the Citrus Bowl. Um, Kentucky's three-point favorite here, and I'm going to take Kentucky. Rose Bowl. Man, Ohio State's a six and a half point favorite, but I'm taking Utah. I just am. <laughs> Question me if you want. I'm taking Utah on this one. Baylor and Ole Miss. This is a pick 'em. I mean, Vegas won't even put a number on it. I'm going Baylor hard. Baylor hard on this one. Lane Kiffin is doing great on the on the recruiting trail. I mean, he just lost his offensive coordinator, and but I think Baylor is good, just good enough to win this game. Then you got the Texas Bowl, the last bowl game of the year. It really deserves to be the last bowl game of the year. LSU versus Kansas State. I mean, just, I mean, they're both eligible, but to me, just two, two pitiful, pitiful teams. I'm, I'm going to go with Kansas State's a one-point favorite. I'm going to go with Kansas State. It's just sad. Just sad. All right, and last but not least are the college football playoff semifinal games. First, the Cotton Bowl. Cincinnati playing Alabama. Cincinnati is a 13-and-a-half-point dog. We're going hard, okay? Alabama. <laughs> I'm going with Alabama. But I will take 13-and-a-half. Uh, I will say Cincinnati would cover. I do think Cincinnati will cover. I don't know. Call me crazy. <laughs> but yeah, 13 and a half. And then we've got Georgia versus Michigan. Georgia's an eight and a half point favorite. Going with the upset, I think Michigan is going to win this one. And I think that the national championship this year is going to be Alabama versus Michigan. Who would have thought that we'd be saying Michigan would be in this position right now? Not me. Not ever. Never thought Michigan would be good ever again. But here they are in the top four. And here they are, I'm saying, playing in a national championship this year. Thank you guys for watching another video. Uh, these are my takes. Make sure you drop yours down below in the comments. Uh, let me know if you like this video. Like. Um, give it a like. Subscribe. All that kind of stuff. And watch the videos. Enjoy yourself. Thank you for stopping by and uh, have a good day.